Good right. afternoon. Hi, right, afternoon. Uh, the week off, has it helped with the injury situation? Is anyone set to return this week? Uh, the situation is more or less uh, the, the the last uh, the last game. Yes, uh, no, maybe only one. Webby Webster, Adam Webster can be available to to play. Um, I don't know Coolio. Tomorrow we will see about Coolio, Coolio and Ciso, and then um, Gilmore is not available. Uh, Tariq, no. Uh, James Miller, no. Mm. Jack Indesvul, no. Mitoma, no. March, no. Uh, Ferguson, no. Nine. Tomorrow, nine. Pervis, no. Pervis is, is finished the season. Out for the season. What's he done? The muscular calf. Calf. Yes, sir. Um, Pep Guardiola says Manchester City are, are tired after the Champions League quarter-final FA Cup semi-final. Could this be an opportunity for you? They are tired? Yeah. No, I think no, because they played uh, Saturday and they... Um, uh, Saturday against uh, Chelsea. And tomorrow is Thursday, I think they, they have... And they are used to playing so many games. They were unlucky against Real Madrid because uh, they lost in penalty on penalty. But they are, uh, I think, with Arsenal and Liverpool, the best teams, one of the best teams in Premier League. Uh, for us, it's a very tough game. No, Erling Haaland though he's not going to be available. Is that a bit of a relief? Great, great news because uh, Alan is a top player. Unfortunately, he, they will play with uh, with Alvarez, uh, and he's still a anyway a big player. Foden a big player, Bernardo a big player, Doku or Grealish, uh, both are. Uh, uh, big uh, wingers, and so the level of difficult this game is is tough. But uh, we would like to play well, a good game, and we would like to to make points for sure. Pep Guardiola says you've done an incredible job here. Is that nice to hear, given how difficult the season's been? But <clears throat> this season has been very tough, especially after January. Uh, we are suffering uh, too many injuries players, too many key injuries players. Um, it's not finished yet, the season. I, I'm sorry because I'm disappointed because I wanted to compete in different way in this last uh, three months. But we have to accept and for sure next season we, we will be with more uh, experience because we spent a tough period. We are spending a tough pe period. It's not finished yet, unfortunately. Uh, it gets very tough now, doesn't it? But you can still qualify for Europe. How confident are you of achieving that, given the difficult running? Well, listen, it's difficult because we play against uh, big teams in Premier League. Uh, we have uh, um, a lot of teams higher on the, on the table, but uh, we try to, to do that. We try to win uh, games, so we try to... First of all, we have to start to do the performance. And we have to play better, for sure. We have to to be stronger in the last 20 metres. Uh, and to give our best. More than give our best, we, can do, we can't do. Um, finally, for me, this week, Officials have been called out publicly. I wonder, without speaking specifically about what's happened at the weekend, do you think it's good for the game in general for match officials to be called out? Dice che ci sono state delle discussioni arbitrali nello scorso weekend. Non voglio entrare nello nello specifico. Cosa pensi sulla sulla questione arbitrale? Per scorso weekend ci sono stati un pochettino di di problemi. I don't they don't know. You know, is always. Uh, 
not good to speak too much about the referee. The referee can make mistakes. Uh, we, me, first of all, I have to accept. Uh, but in Italy, there are discussion about the referee in uh, Premier League the same, in Spain the same. If you watch uh, Real Madrid, Barcelona, there uh, there wasn't the touch, uh, the, the, the line, the goal line, the goal line technology. Um, it's normal. It's part of football. This um, discussion, this uh, po- polemical. Did you say, unfortunately, the season isn't finished yet? Have you have you had enough? Do you want to stop now? and start again, sort of reset? No, I would like to play with my team, my players. If you ask me what you want, Roberto, I want, I would like. Uh, and I work to play with the, the best team, uh, the best first 11, and I can mm-hmm. I can choose. But uh, it's like this, we have to accept. Uh, um, I'm sorry for the injury, for example, Ferguson and Jack Indeswood are very young uh, and is. Uh, bad situation for us, for, uh, for club, but uh, it's still a part of football and we have to accept and we have to move on and to think uh, and to be focused uh, on what we, we can do. You've had 12 days between matches. Did you do anything different in that time? Was it just a bit of rest and then training, training, training? No, we, we, we have worked well, I think we we are preparing the game in the best way we can. I don't know if uh, it's uh, enough or not, because when you play against the, the best coach in the world, uh, one of the best team in the world, you can prepare uh, what you want by the end. Uh, the qualities of the players can change uh, the plan. But I'm positive for the this um, six Five games, six games. Uh, we we gonna play. You've caused City problems in the past. What's the main thing you have to do as a team to to get something out of tomorrow? I don't know if uh, we play. I think we play well. We played well against them, but. Um, to win, uh, if you want to win against these big teams, you have to play the great game, but you have to to play against uh, not uh, Man City, Liverpool, Arsenal in, in perfect condition, because in the normal situation, Brighton can can lose the game against these big teams. You have. Lots of good results in your time here, but especially, I think, on weeknights, under the lights, when you the game against Man City, you beat Ajax, Marseille, Manchester United. Does playing at the Amex during the week at night time, does that, the different atmosphere, does it bring a little extra out of the players? Because we play at home with our fans. Yes, I I love playing uh, the night because uh, there is a different atmosphere. But uh, I think uh, um, our fans has have been fantastic. Uh, every game we played at, at at Amex or away as well. I think the most important thing is our behavior, the beginning of the game. If we start the game uh, in the first 10, 15 minutes with a good uh, um, attitude, the, the, the right uh, courage, the, the right uh, uh, behavior, I think uh, uh, the fans uh, can understand that they can support uh, more. Good luck. Roberto, um, could you tell us a little bit more about Evan Ferguson? Because he sort of is, was out, then he came back, and then he's been out again. What is the nature of the injury? And, and yes, because what, uh, it's quite a difficult position felt, for him as well. Uh, he felt uh, pain uh, in in the ankle, ankle a lot of time. Um, 
and he tried to to move on to play uh, with pain but at the end uh, he preferred to to stop and to to think uh, on the the next season you 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 have to imagine Ferguson and uh, Cullian Ciso because we speak a lot of, we are we have spoken a lot about uh, Mitoma and March but Cullian Ciso and Ferguson they didn't play um, yes but uh, Cullio played the, the the first game away in uh, Wolverhampton mm-hmm. and then uh, yes in Rome he played but it wasn't the he wasn't that the the Cullio true uh, and Ferguson mm-hmm. as well he played uh, the first uh, five games uh, and he finished the season after uh, Newcastle at home he scored three goals and and then uh, he he didn't play anymore no um how important is it for adam webster maybe to have that time because he's another player who played a lot for you before but again has kept coming back and then dropping out as well uh, he he was unlucky this season because um, he suffered two injuries two strong injuries and then uh, JP Van Eker, he played very well uh, he played uh, mm, not so much but um, Igor and JP especially when we played uh, when we have played uh, with three defenders at the back it was tough for him difficult for him with regards to Manchester City um under Pep Guardiola, they've been so good for so long. What is it that makes Pep special and, and the job that he has done there so special? Well, I think uh, his passion is great. He loves football. But if we speak about tactical part of mm, is different different coach different men there are a lot of coaches and there is pep different things and is that something that you always aspire to when you watch his teams play oh, there are, uh, now is uh, there are a lot of uh, in italy as well mm, uh, Tiago Motta, uh, in Germany, um, Xabi Alonso. Uh, there are a lot of great managers and they are changing something. Uh, every every coach um, makes different things. Mm, the view of football is different uh, depending on the coach, but... Uh, the first one who changed the, the football was was Guardiola, has been Guardiola. In Barcelona, in uh, Bayern Munich, in uh, Man City, a- every season he made something different. It's, for example, in the, the game uh, in Manchester against them, yes, we prepared uh, a game and the day bef- after uh, we we found different things on the pitch. He was for a very short time at Brescia. Do you remember him from there? Did you even play against him? Or no, no, no. we didn't play against, uh, but I fans and I remember very well uh, his, his his time. 